Okay, I'm back. As you can tell um, by the title, uh, I'm going to start uh, listing my, well, doing HG videos. And the last, I haven't done one or a film one since last year, and it was super long. So I thought that I would chop it up into categories. So today's video will be, um, I'm going to be telling you what my HG co-wash conditioners are and my deep conditioners because either your first step is always going to be shampooing your hair or co-washing your hair and then you're going to either do a rinse out condition or I typically typically do not do use rinse out conditioners like my co-wash conditioners are my rinse out conditioners and then I DC and I do an omelet treatment like every four or six weeks and then in between I either do I try to keep a moisture protein balance meaning if I did a moisturizing deep conditioner you know one Saturday then the next time I wash my hair I'll do a protein conditioner okay so let's get started with my favorite holy grail staple co-washes so my ultimate favorite has not changed it's still on the list is a desert essence um, coconut conditioner love it um, you I get this at my local health food store and I always catch it when the desert essence brands goes on sale for like 40% off and I get get this for it's like four dollars and something um, when I catch it on sale so I, I buy it in bulk so th this right here and I rotate what I mean by rotate like I'll try to this one is almost gone so then I'll grab my next favorite one is the Trader Joe's Nourish Spa. Love it. Still on my list. Love it, love it, love it. And then the Trader Joe's uh, Tea Tree ting uh, Tingle. And I just started using this uh, last year in the middle middle summer, I guess, of last year. I don't work, don't quite recall the exact date, but I love it. And you see it's almost gone too. So I have like this in one corner of the shower and this one in the next. And those are the only three co-wash conditioners. I'm making a mess. The only three co-wash conditioners that I use and I rotate them. So you can get this at Trader Joe's along with the Nourish Spa and Desert Essence. You should be able to find at your local health food store. If not, you can order off Vitacost.com. And Vitacost.com has fast shipping and it's only like $4.99. So those are my co-wash conditioners i'm not looking for any more co-wash conditioners this is it i am way over the product junkie stage i am not right now i'm on a operation use up stash really because I, I just i have a lot of products and i found what works and i'm not really looking for anything new okay so those are my co-wash so the only protein conditioner that i use and it's i consider it a light protein conditioner um, it's not that my hair doesn't really like protein, but I don't need a lot of protein. Um, so I use a light and I use the Aubrey's GPB. Uh, you can get this off Vitacost or you can get this at your local health food store. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's a five. Everything that I'm showing you on my HG list, they're all five. You know, my scale is one to five, meaning one is sucked, five. I love it and will rebuy it. I rebuy this all the time and I get this big bottle and I'm actually almost out of this so I alternate so like I said and when I actually wash my hair like during the whole wash and retwist stage if I have deep condition with a moisturizing conditioner one the last time then I will deep condition with the GPP the next now the next products I rotate so if I moisture, if I did a deep conditioner and I use the Coils by Nature Ultra Moisturizing Cocoa Aloe Deep Conditioner, then the next time I'm deep conditioned, have a moisturizing deep conditioner, then I will use my Jessie Curl Deep Treat. Now this used to be in a jar, now it's in a bottle. I miss the jar. Jessie, please bring the jar back. If you're watching this, then I'll grab for my Reve deep moisture treatment, or I will. I still use uh, my Basque 
products. I use the Cocoa Bark and the Yam Nectar. I think she since changed her labeling, but I had stocked up. I had so much of this. And what I do, I do 50-50, so equal parts. So I'll do half Yam Nectar and half Cocoa Bark, mix it, and use it as my, my deep treat. Now, I also, from time to time, will do a honey and olive oil treatment, but I kind of stay away from honey because I'm developing some kind of allergy to it, especially when I take it internally. So I kind of stay away from that. But if you don't have any issues with honey, then a honey and olive oil 50-50 mix is a great deep conditioner. And you talk about shine. And I have a video on it, but I got stung by a bee a couple years ago, uh, like two summers ago. And it has been downhill for me and any bee related type of thing. So let me, I haven't did, I guess, formal reviews on, I know I've had, I got a video on the Jesse Curl Deep Treat, but I do not have reviews on the Reve Deep Moisture Treatment that they released. I think it was Black Friday. That's when I ordered mine. And I don't have a review on the Cause by Nature or Ultra Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. Let me just tell you, let me just go, they're my HGs, period. I'm not looking for any other deep conditioners. Like I said, I'm I'm like over trying like a whole bunch of uh, brand new products. Now I'll review products. Now if they just knock my, it's, it takes a lot to knock something off of my HG list. So let's talk about the Reve Deep Moisture Treatment from one. Okay, I got the strawberry scent and it smells so freaking good. And my favorite scent by Reve is pineapple. And then I would say strawberry is next. And pineapple is only available in the summer. In spring months, I think. Well, definitely summer. It smells super good. Oh, it's super, super creamy. And I rinsed this out of my hair. And my hair felt like silk. I immediately sent one of the owners, because we're uh, we're friends, sent her a text message was like, really? Uh, yeah, it, this deep treat, you did the damn thing with this. It it was, my hair felt so good and it smells good. It smells, it smells to me, the strawberry, almost like a strawberry now later or a strawberry blow pop. It is, yeah, so if you're looking for a deep conditioner, I would check this out. Okay, next is the Coils by Nature deep condition. And I remember um, when Coils by Nature came out with this because my girl, whom I miss dearly, Danielle is the one that told me about it, but I never did get it, I never ordered it. I had always kept meaning to order, I kept meaning to order, and I, I never did. She told me, oh my God, you know, Pam's deep conditioner is the bomb. So I've had it for a while. I had it for a while before I, I tried it and oh, my goodness i mean it's a really good deep conditioner it is it and it to me it kind of puts me in the mind of karen's body beautiful luscious uh locks hair mask only it's better um it it, it really is and let me just show you the consistency of this too i love this stuff So it's, it's not as thick as the Reve, but don't let the consistency fool you. My hair was super uber, uber moisturized and it, it just, it doesn't really have a smell to it. It doesn't have a particular scent, but it is really good. My hair felt very good. Oh, and it, I mean, I, yeah, I'm going to put some in my hair. I love it. I'm pretty sure I have reviews already on the uh, Cocoa Bark and the, the Yam Nectar, but they're both by Basque. And like I said, I mix them 50-50. And the Cocoa Bark smells just like chocolate. It's like looks like a chocolate mousse. And then the Yam Nectar looks like a thick, like thick honey almost. I mean, I mix them 50-50, and I, I think I actually got that idea. I went on to their website, and that's where I read that you can mix them 50-50. And those are my Holy Grail products. So my Holy Grail co-washes and my Holy Grail 
HG deep conditioners and bonus okay this does not have to do about this and have anything at all to do about hair products but one of the last videos I posted not the one that I just posted yesterday but I was in this same room I shoot this in a bathroom in my house and I was having a private summer so one of my subscribers told me um, to try a wild yam I do not, I guess I could go back and look at the comments, but if you are watching this video, honey, shoot me an inbox because I got a gift for you because I went and bought this wild yam. I got this at my health food store and I have been taking them and let me tell you, I could tell the difference in about three days. Oh, and you see I got a sweater on and I have a turtleneck on and there is no sweat dripping from the brow. <laughs> Woo! If you are in my age group, like, okay, bored in the 60s, all right? Um, and you are experiencing your own private summers, girl, go get you some wild yam. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you, I don't know what, I don't know why it works. It looks like this. It looks like dirt in a capsule, like light dirt in a capsule. But I started off with one. And because I asked the lady when I bought I'm like, how, how many should I take? You know, she was like, well, I would start with one and work your way up because it says that you can take up to three capsules two times a day. So I just take one two times a day now. But let me tell you, if they start to come back, I'm going to up it up to two, two times a three until I get up to three to, to ward them things off. But me, this work, I mean, typically things got to get in your system for me at least 30 days. No, 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 no. It was like three days. I could tell the difference. So that was a little bonus. So if you are a 60s baby and you are experiencing, like I said, your own private summers, run out fast and get you some wild yam. Until the next video, I'll talk to you later. Bye.